As summer comes to an end, many people are heading out for one last vacation. Maybe it's the beach, camping a cruise, or visiting a foreign city. Wherever you go, it's a good idea to put some thought into how to stay healthy while traveling. A travel specialist from Mayo Clinic has some advice. This time of year, people are hopping on planes or packing up the car to enjoy a little leisure time before summer ends. Kick back a little bit. The Jansen family chose camping. <laughs> it's very warm. Hot, in fact. And that's the number one issue for summer travel. I didn't drink enough water last night and then I already felt a little bit dehydrated. Stomach ache, headache, dizziness. I think it's important to know that people don't really realize that they're losing a lot of water by sweating. It's important to make sure you don't get dehydrated and you're drinking a lot of water. I just had like two full bottles of water. The things that you uh, we see sometimes after somebody goes camping are things that are insect transmitted. Dr. Avinash Virk says mosquitoes and ticks are often the culprits, so use bug spray. Let's get it on your face. And use sunscreen to avoid sunburn. Get those ears. So if somebody does get a sunburn, they should use like an aloe lotion, a soothing lotion. Um, you can use, um, you can take aspirin or um, ibuprofen to kind of cut down the inflammation from a sunburn. Whether you're in the woods or at the beach, don't drink untreated water because you could get diarrhea. Sarah Jansen stocked a first aid kit with items to help in several situations. Tylenol, Imodium. I like it, I guess, mostly for bacitracin, for cleaning little cuts. A cold pack, survival wrap to prevent heat loss, and tweezers. Now, if you're hopping on a plane this summer, you might be worried about getting sick from germs in the air on board. So yes, if you're sitting next to somebody or if you're sitting in that section where somebody has an illness and you're sitting, you know, two seats down or up and down from them, yes, you could certainly pick up something, but that could happen anywhere. Uh, but in general, the air circulation in the plane is very clean and the likelihood of picking up uh, things is very low. Hand hygiene helps decrease your risk of getting sick. That's especially true if you choose a cruise. A whole bunch of people in a crowded space, and if there is a transmissible disease, it's probably going to go go through everyone very quickly. So wash your hands frequently and consider carrying a hand sanitizer. Summertime is a wonderful time for vacation. Being prepared for issues that might arise can help keep your time off healthy and safe. And here are a few other healthy travel tips. Wipe yourself off after you swim. Try to stay in the shade if it's hot. Be sure food is cooked and stored properly. And check with your doctor about any shots or vaccinations you might need if you're traveling out of the country. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.